Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us again today. Uh, you are a laser surgeon, and uh, since it's a fairly new field, so on the onset, I would like our viewers to know that what are lasers. See, as you can see, I'm uh, standing in my laser room right now, in my procedure room, and I'm surrounded by lasers. So it's a very good question. What are lasers? The full form of lasers is light amplification through stimulated emission of radiations, meaning that we concentrate the energy, the power of the light to a single point. There are various wavelengths which various solid and gaseous media can provide, and these wavelengths have a particular target chromatophore, means a target cell, a target what that laser will destroy or remove. So these are, this is what lasers are about. In a layman's term, it is a very precise way of dealing with certain problems, with certain conditions and improving your general skin as a whole can also be done via lasers. Another pertinent question on everybody's mind is, uh, if lasers are safe, is it safe to take these laser treatments? That's a very good question because you know people associate lasers with radiation with a whole slew of other uh, myths. I would like to say before I explain this topic whether lasers are safe or not. Yes, they are very safe. How I tell you, you know a small Tata Nano is also a car and a Rolls Royce is also a car. So how safe are you in a Rolls Royce? Very. And how safe are you in a small car? Not that much. So the right laser which has a US FDA approval is absolutely safe. When we talk about lasers, we also talk about energy based devices. All the equipments which we use are not necessarily lasers. Some of them like the RF are also energy based devices. So yes, all these devices which are US FDA, which have the proper approvals, which are from good companies and in good hands are absolutely 110% safe. They are better than creams, peels and other procedures which we get done uh, for these same conditions. Uh, doctor, you just mentioned US FDA. Can you please elaborate on the same? Yes, uh, the full form of US FDA, as most of you all would be knowing, is United States Food Drug Administration approved. So, you know, lasers have been, been uh, used in dermatology since the year almost 1968. Now, the US, when we talk about standards, has globally very sound and good and gold standards. So, when US FDA gives approval to a particular laser, or energy device, that machine is good. It is safe for those particular indications. You can see the US FDA certificate with your laser surgeon. It will be clearly mentioned for which indications is the laser US FDA approved. And for those indications, that laser is a very, very safe option. All my lasers in this, in this clinic are US FDA approved. Dr. Pandey, what are the indications for lasers? Which skin problems and diseases can be dealt with? That lasers. is a very complex question. You need to understand. I would walk you through the lasers and explain the things to you. But lasers are for a very complex uh, scenario of things. Almost in today's time, everything can be dealt with by lasers. I'll just explain. See, uh, this is a Helios 3, which is a Q switch fractionated NDI laser. Okay, that's gibberish to most of you. In simple words, it's a pigmentation laser. Its target promoter for, uh, is melanin. It affects the melanosomes. So all pigmentary disorders, PIH, melasma, phototanning, these can be dealt with by this laser. It has the various hand pieces associated with it. It's the only laser with, which has these four hand pieces. It has the zoom hand piece which goes deeper, which gives the energy precisely but in a concentrated manner. It has a fractionated hand piece which distributes the energy over a larger period which is a safer hand piece and we can cover larger areas. Using this hand piece we can even take care of tanning of the full body. This is a collimator or collimated hand piece. Again this is for dealing with a larger area. It further uh, distributes the energy, is safer. And this is uh, the USB of this laser. This is a fractionated 532. This is being used as a soft peel, it is being used in a lot of pigmentation, it is being used in scar revisions, a lot of things can be done with this laser. We do tattoo removals with this laser, we do uh, white hair removal, we do hair removal with this laser, fine hair which have to be removed, 
we do scar revisions hyperpigmented scar linear scars are dealt with by this laser the helios 3 the other machine uh, which i would like to show you the other laser is the 810 diode it's a milesman premium it is one of the most well known diodes all over the world obviously it's a us fda like the helios 3 us fda approved this has a in motion uh, technology also so we can all kind of unwanted body hair or facial hair can be taken care of by this laser this laser is specifically for laser hair removal lhr there are other indications also but i use this laser exclusively for laser hair removal the third machine which is a energy based device it's not a laser is a sublative and a thermal rf it's a monopolar radio frequency with a fractionated sublative and piece also this is used for skin tightening double chin body shaping it's also used for scar revisions post acne scars so it is a scar and uh, tightening unit which i use if you could just uh, move the uh, and the camera this side i would like to show you a few of the results see this is uh, the scar revision uh, post operative scar suture line mark which has been removed using the helios 3 Again, a caustic scar, scar which was removed using the Helios 3 and the Duet RF. All of us know about melasma, difficult to treat. Treated using lasers, very difficult to treat otherwise. And lastly, hair removal is very simple. Everyone is doing it, but this is a white hair removal. I have gotten rid of the white hair using the Helios 3, the carbon dye and the diode. So these are few of my results using lasers. Doctor, another uh, question is that are lasers only indicated for certain uh, diseases and skin conditions, or can we also go for laser treatment to maintain a healthy skin? That's a very good question. I would say lasers these days are being used more for uh, maintenance rather than actual diseases. You know, as you age, there are a lot of changes which happen on your skin. There is photo aging; your whole face begins to go south. there are debates which are happening all over the world that have energy based devices and light bit light based devices taken over botox and filler and i am a big advocate of this theory using these lasers you can maintain your face you can maintain your skin you can start looking younger and even if you don't want to look younger you can keep all the aging processes in check there is a carbon uh, peel which we do or the carbon laser protocol that i get done on myself also every month to keep myself free from tanning to make my skin tighter as i explained most of my laser has zero downtime has zero down time meaning you don't need to take a break from your daily activities from your work whatever so the duet rf with its thermal mode and fractionated mode can get rid of your double chin can make your face look tighter it can lead to collagenogenesis means the collagen your body will start making more collagen which will obviously make you look younger because collagen is responsible for the youthful look which a baby or a young man has and lack of collagen is responsible for all your wrinkles for all your face looking saggy all that can be done in a more natural way with these lasers Na natural meaning they activate the natural mechanism of your body instead of getting injected by botox and fillers in my opinion this is a better alternative thank you for walking us through your lasers and for all the information that you gave us on the same most welcome